Hey guys, welcome back to EMT Made Easy. My name is John and today I'm going over Apgar. So Apgar is something that we use for newborns and it helps us assess how the baby's doing right after it's born. So we want to do the Apgar at least a minute after the baby's born. All right? And it just helps us do a quick head to toe assessment on the baby just to get an idea of where the baby's at. As far as what, does it stand, what it stands for, it stands for appearance, so the color of the baby in particular, the pulse, is there a pulse present, and if there is, is it below 100 or above 100, that matters for our baby. Grimace, the stimulation, do we have to stimulate them to cry or do they cry on their own? Activity, are they moving around fine, are they kind of sluggish, stuff like that. Uh, response, we're talking about the airway. How is the airway looking? So the lowest score you can get on a APGAR scale is zero. The highest is 10, okay? It's really rare for kids to get 10. Um, six, seven, that's more normal from what I know. Um, so let's go ahead and break this down, guys. So on the appearance portion of the APGAR, if your baby has a blue core, so this is the core, the thoracic region, the abdominal region, if that's blue, they're going to get a zero because that means that there's very low perfusion going on in this region and we have the vital organs in this region right here, so that's why it's, that's why it's a big deal. So they get a zero, all right? If your baby has a good core, it's a good pinkish color maybe, but the extremities are blue, cyanotic, they get a one. That's pretty normal, it's not a huge deal. Maybe the blood just, just needs time to circulate and get to the extremities, okay? Please take a note no, and check the baby again. If your baby's pink all the way around, that's good. They get a two, that's really, really good. That means that baby has good perfusion, all right? On your pulse, if there's no pulse present, baby gets a zero. If the pulse is below 100, the baby gets a 1, okay? And then if the pulse is above 100, the baby gets a 2. There's no set rate for a baby, a newborn. We just want it above 100. That's all that matters. If it's above 100, awesome. If not, you want to go ahead and recheck in five minutes and see how the baby's doing. All right, keep an eye on that baby. As far as cr uh, grimace, do they cry, but do they not cry at all? Even with stimulation or right after birth, that baby gets a zero. If there's no activity, no crying whatsoever, either on their own or with stimulus. Stimulation, um, I'll, I'll hit that up a little bit. All right, they get, a, they get a one if they cry only with stimulation. Again, this is pretty normal for a baby. Um, some babies, when they come out, they don't come out crying. You have to stimulate them, you know, kind of just tickle or rub underneath the feet, maybe on their back, get them crying. Um, so that's pretty normal, and that's what that means. It's a one, but it's not a big deal. Are they full-blown, just really crying, crazy? As soon as they're born, they get a two. That baby um, is good to go with Grimace, all right? Uh, for activity, is it, are they not moving at all? These limp, it's a zero, it's a really bad sign. Um, minor flexion, are they barely moving, kind of sluggish? You want to keep an eye on that baby, all right? Um, and you'll know, trust me, you'll know if they're going crazy, a lot of activity, or if they're just, like barely moving, you'll, you'll know when you see it. So that baby will get a one and you want to keep an eye on that baby. That's not a very good sign. Uh, they get a two on activity if they're just full on, just moving around, flexing, extending their arms and legs. That's good. It's a good sign for your baby, right? As far as response, we're, we are really talking about the airway here. Um, are they breathing? If no or crying, we find out if they're breathing really by crying. That's how we know if they're breathing, like right off the bat. Um, then they, they get a zero, check that airway, um, and bring the crash card if you're in the hospital, obviously, any one of these. Um, but that's a zero right there for the baby, no response at all. If they have a very weak cry, really low tone, not really trying very hard, or gasping, if they have irregular gasping, and it's noticeable, you want to suction that airway because maybe they got something stuck in their airway, all right? There's a lot of fluid going on down there when the baby's born, so you want to suction that baby out um, and get whatever is out of there. Open that airway is very important for these kids. 
Are they, do they have a strong cry? Just, ah, really crying. Loud? That's good. This baby gets a two, all right? And that's the breakdown for these right here. Um, I, kinda, I hope I did a good job explaining. If not, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what you need or what you want me to explain further on or kind of break down more. And I'll be more than happy to do that for sure in another video that I make. All right, so as far as the, the ranges, if your baby ranges between a 10 and a 7, when the baby comes out after one minute, just warm that baby up, that baby should be good to go. It shouldn't be a big issue, all right? If your baby scores between 6 and 4, you want to check that baby another 5 minutes. If they're still between 6 and 4, check them again in another 5 minutes, okay? But keep in mind and remember that we want to use the Abcar, excuse me, the Abcar a minute after birth. And we only recheck every five minutes if they're between four or six or six or four, however you want to remember it. If your baby scores a three or below, you want to get uh, additional resources to get your paramedics. If you're a BLS unit, um, if you're in the ER, you get the crash card. Um, this baby's going to need some help big time. That's pretty much all I have, guys, today. Um, is a quick rundown of Apgar. Um, let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. Um, if you want me to explain more, I'll be more than happy to explain. All right, later.